to episode three of the Prog Vlog. Three. Three. This is how they make three here in the Czech Republic. For those who have seen Glorious Bastards, you should know that is how you do it. Busy past week. Very hectic Super past busy. week. Super busy. Um, we've been shooting for 12 hours a day every day. Since pretty last much. Saturday? Yeah, for about six, seven days straight. Yeah. We shot for 12 hours a yeah. day. So we three got films. all three films done. So and, that was nice. That was, yeah, that was the biggest, I think, accomplishment we did is that we got three films shot in one week. And that was a lot. Um, it's a lot of work that goes into a production like this that you don't really think about, that you don't really see. Uh, as the, an audience member, as a viewer. It's a lot of time management, a lot of precision, a lot of you know, hard teamwork. And if, if you're outside, which we were for all three of these shoots, yeah. then you have to deal with <laughs> background noise, you have to deal with people spiking the camera, which those, means they look yeah, right at it. Right at the camera. And you have to deal with uh, the sun and clouds as well. Yeah, I mean, we had a shoot where it was right in this little cafe, and um, the trees, when the shine, when the sun shined through the trees, <laughs> when the sun shined through the trees, it emulated this, this picture against the wall, and then when it was cloudy, the picture went in the way. And a lot of things you have to worry about when doing these shoots is continuity, and it's not just, oh, the glass was there in this shot, and it's not there in the next shot. It's continuity of lighting, which is so hard. You have to make sure the lighting is exactly right, and when you see this picture in one shot and then the next shot, it's not there. It just Let's talk a little bit about the film that Peter and I worked on uh, the most closely with each other. Um, we needed to do everything in kind of a guerrilla style. We, we called the style quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. We, we would just go, 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 and um, we actually didn't use any additional lighting. It's no. all natural, um, which is a challenge in its own. Things even a little bit more challenging. Our main actor was six foot seven. Oh my God. Yeah. So I was I was or like six this the six. Whole time. So trying to uh, trying to be on eye level with him for certain shots was just really hard, and trying to keep his head in frame right. for certain shots proved to be challenging. But we had a lot of fun shooting. Um, it's nice to be able to sit down. Yeah. I know by the end of the week, I thought my feet were going to fall off. I mean, the editors are up in that building over there just editing away this is our dorm yeah it's not the best i don't <laughs> recommend it but no they're they're slaving away right now and we have this one guy elijah who this kid has never worked in any sort of film productions or anything like that he just loves audio and loves composing music and we brought him out here to do all our audio and all our composition of all the scoring and the soundtrack and he's honestly killing it but he has to do it for three sorry three movies this next couple of days and that is so much work so we're he's he's a he's a magician mm -hmm. to say the least I mean, something else i mean for those of you at iu that are looking to do this for next year i mean you gotta just it's it's a hard intense program you, and our teacher susan kelly i mean she's amazing she's done so much for us and tried to make this as easy as uh, for us as possible but it's a lot of hard work and we made three movies in one month from nothing to something we didn't even have the concept of the story developed nope. we, we came we didn't here have scripts we didn't have pre-production done yeah. and we did this in one month just imagine what we could do in three sorry three i mean i hope we could bring back something like this back to the school mm -hmm. where we could do it at iu not just have to go oh yeah home. i've learned more in this month than i think i did yeah. my past two semesters because you can hear about it in the classroom you can take a quiz over it. Um, to be honest, that doesn't really yeah. it doesn't really you, do a whole you lot. You learn the technicalities of it, but you don't get to actually practice. I mean, you do get to practice, but not nothing to the not in the same context. Of, right of just going out there and being in a twelve person crew and falling under the pressure mm -hmm. and seeing the stresses that goes through this process. And it's it's not easy stuff, guys. But I mean, no. if you're really involved and you really love to do this stuff, you're gonna succeed. And, you're going to be able to do right with this kind of stuff, so. We've been cooking up ideas. We're excited to come back and uh, share even more of the experience with, with our friends back home. And, uh, yeah, we've, just, had a, we've had a blast it's, it's out here, so. Time. And honestly, it's it's these moments and these experiences, too, that you make lifelong mm -hmm. friends. And you make, it's not even just making lifelong friends, it's making lifelong colleagues. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're really into this stuff, you gotta, you got to do your hard work. you got to pay your dues. 
you gotta you gotta sit there and, and you gotta understand that even if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out even if it failed it's not a matter of failing and regretting it's a matter of learning what to do better the next time and mm -hmm. I think that is just mm -hmm. some words that should really stick with you and you gotta just keep making stuff until it gets better it's like oh that's another thing really quick to highlight on the best part about this is you're around kids that love to do this stuff I mean I know mm -hmm. I have friends that like yeah. I, I talk film while we're watching a movie or I'll quote a movie and they're just like oh come on like stop. we're really it's annoying like, people to watch movies yeah with. But like the best part is those kind of people are all together. So mm -hmm. you have the nerds with you and it's cool. Yeah, hopefully we can take this knowledge back to IU and really produce some cool stuff together. Um, like Peter was saying, if you have any desire to, to do this, then you really just have to put in the work, um, especially if you want to edit uh, or if you want to direct any, really any, any part of the process. Um, you have to put in the work and it's a lot of trial and error and, and finding out what works for you, what's going to suit your personal style, while also, you know, following the rules of filmmaking and, and doing it all in the proper way. You learn all the technicality, but when it comes to bringing all of those things together and having to worry about every little thing, it, my friends, is not easy, but it's a lot of fun. And at the end of the day, you're going to be proud of what you made, whether it's going to be the best work or your worst work. I mean, you just have to stick by your guts. You have to stick by what you really think. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all we got I mean, for you. We'll, we got a little more free time we'll this probably, week. So. Uh, we'll probably check in one more yeah. time later this week, but it's been fun doing this. It's been fun being out yeah. here in Prague. And uh, maybe Peter and I will even uh, do one for fun from yeah. Milan, Italy, which is oh. our next stop. Yeah, I next, next we'll stop, see. Milan. We'll see. So we'll see. we'll see, guys. All right, All right guys. Peace. See ya.